Murphy here. I uh, want to talk to you a little bit about making sure that your Hummingbird software is properly updated. It's an easy thing to do anytime you have high level electronics that have some pretty complicated schemes to them. Um, Hummingbird's always looking to improve what they've already built. And the only way they can do that is to put updates out. And rather than have you buy a new unit every time they make an update, they make it pretty simple. All you need is an SD card. You can go over to their computer. Head on over to their site and they'll show you everything you need to do about downloading the latest updates for your electronics. Now here's the important part. Make sure that you've actually registered your stuff with Hummingbird because then it just lines it all up for you. So we're going to go ahead and show you how to do that real quick today. Alright, so what we're going to do is go ahead and download the latest software update for my Helix 9 SI GPS. As you can see, it's got your downloads listed here, Humminbird PC and Helix 9. I can't use Humminbird PC because I'm an Apple user, but that's no big deal. I'll use Helix 9 SI. It tells you exactly what you need to do and what it's fixing. Then down to the end, it tells you how to load in your power on your unit. We're going to go ahead and download. So we'll take our little 2 gig SD card. And as you can see, it's very important not to use too big of an SD card. They don't want you using 32 gigs or less. Two is going to work just fine. We'll go ahead and insert. And while we're doing this, just click download. Boom. Download it to our computer. And once that's done, open up my downloads. Helix SI GPS. We're going to go ahead and pull this out. And bring it over onto our SD card by dropping it in. And then we're going to check our, G our SI. Yep. And there it is. Copying it to our actual SD card. Now we'll take it outside and load it into All right, the so we're outside the house. We're going to go ahead and put it into our unit. I'm going to go ahead and just put it in there to begin with. Power it up. We're placing the software, so it automatically reads the card for you, tells you what to do. So we are going to, it's going to go ahead and restore the factory defaults, not a big deal. We'll go through how to take care of that as well. But yes, we'll go ahead and do that. Then it'll ask you if you want to abort it, just in case you accidentally hit yes. So at this time you'll hit no. And now it's going to cycle through everything what you need to do. It may take up to a couple of minutes, but it's simple, easy, best way to get the most up-to-date software on your Hummingbird units so that you're constantly making sure that you've got everything exactly the way you want it. Easy done from Hummingbird.